Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. What happened to Shanquilla Robinson was absolutely atrocious. To have to take your friends, pay for a trip for them, and they kill you on the trip. Uh, that just kind of lets you know that that's a sign of the times. You know, if you're trying to elevate and people around you are not, and you know they have backhanded comments to make about you, and you know they don't have your best interest in mind, the way the world is turning, you got to distance yourself. Because <clears throat> people who have the potential to be most dangerous to you are those who know you well. They know your tendencies, they know your patterns, they know your habits. Let's start with this young lady paying for these people to go on this trip. Look, you can't take everybody with you, whether it be on a vacation or either it be when you're ascending to higher levels in life. You can't take everybody with you. Everybody doesn't belong everywhere. And that can go on different levels, too. Some people don't behave properly in certain environments. They just don't have the, the uh, etiquette to do so. Some people are just jealous. Some people have the wrong attitude altogether. Whatever the case may be, everybody doesn't need to go everywhere. She took these people on this trip with her. They, there was one scene or, or one clip that they showed. And, I, and, and, you know, I'm not trying to tell people how to get away with crimes or encourage people how to get away with crimes. But good Lord, people videotape. People talk all this no stitching stuff and then they videotape their own crimes. OK, but you know what? I'm glad people are, quote unquote, snitching and telling the truth and making sure that, uh, Justice happens in this situation. And even though, you know, I was raised to where, you know, uh, people do the no snitching thing or whatever. Uh, I grew out of that. I'm a you know, I, I have things to lose. I do suppose, you know, people might run red lights and different things happen and somebody might turn their head. OK, but look, when you have crimes that are threatening your community and threatening the, the well-being of people. And innocent folks are getting killed. Hey, somebody's got to speak up. But even with the street folks, that used to be a code. Innocent people didn't die. If you signed up for the street life, okay, you were in. Otherwise, you kept that out of quote unquote civilian folks life. But I digress. So she then took these folks with her to Cabo, Mexico. They're taking pictures of her, of her asleep. And she may have been dead already. But. It's reported by the friends that one of those young men allegedly has a past of raping females anyway. And if you notice, when they decided to jump on the girl and kill her, she was naked. And she also apparently didn't fight back or, in my opinion, allegedly couldn't fight back. I honestly think they drugged that girl. I think that guy may have even raped her. And then in the process, that's when they decided to go ahead and say, OK, we're done toying around with you like a cat that's toying with a rat's carcass and went ahead and ate it. And I hope I'm wrong, but, you know, there were reports of how the um, Mexican authorities, they, they attempted to bribe them. So I don't know how true any of that is. I just know this woman is dead and these folks are filed for what they did to her. So now they're all on the run. But the girl who did the main fighting, um, I forget her name. She's got one of those hard to pronounce names. Um, it may come to me in a moment. Anyhow, she's uh, scheduled to possibly be extradited back to Mexico. So the Mexican authorities will try her, which is probably, in my opinion, going to happen because that's a tourist site so now you're fooling with the money let me tell you something it's one thing when you have a fist fight or you have a disagreement or you have an episode or there's some problems but it's another thing when you mess up the money train when you mess up people's money and you're bad for business people respond in a much different way than they do by just being upset most people when just upset will get over it or even walk away before it gets serious this time you're messing with millions in tourism money 
So they have to save face. They have to. Or else you're costing that whole country millions. So yeah, young lady, you're probably going to get extradited. And the other five, she's going to tell on you. And you'll be accessories to murder. And I'll be honest with you, I think the most just thing would be for you all to go down there to Mexico. You know, it's, well, there's all types of crimes. A fist fight is one thing, but to kill somebody just because you're jealous, come on. Come on. What are we doing? They're probably going to ship you to Mexico. And I tell you what, in the fight video, the lady was saying, I'm tired of your stuff. And they were saying, well, can you fight back? Well, let me tell you something. The Mexicans fight different. And y'all ain't going to be together to jump on people in those cells should you make it down there. And they don't mind knife fighting. Your average American ain't going to knife fight. It's kind of like when the U.S. military went to Afghanistan. It's one thing to shoot at a man in a military situation. It's, another, it's one thing to engage a combatant that is trying to hide and not get hit. It's another thing to engage a combatant who doesn't care if they get hit and they're running towards you with a suicide bomb strapped to their chest. Different mindset, different warfare, and there's a reason nobody's ever conquered those people because they're willing to die for what they believe in. Different mindset, right? Most people in America, if you give two people knives and you say, hey, okay, you can, you can have a knife fight. No, you can cut on your finger hurts. So you can only imagine what getting a knife stuck up in your body feels like. Those people in Mexico don't mind knife fighting, knowing somebody's not going to walk out of it. And now we're adding the prison element too. Plus, they know you jumped on somebody and killed them. So most likely what's headed to any of you people who uh, killed Sean Quella or participated in it or whatever, if you go to that Mexican prison, understand, you're going to get jumped on and they're going to shank you. Most likely, allegedly, possibly, God forbid, because I don't want to wish anything bad on anybody. But, hey, you committed a crime and it was on display for the world to see. And it was a cowardly act the way you did it. It was dirty. It was disgusting. And that girl had love for y'all. She probably spent about $10,000 taking y'all down there to fly and to eat and this and that and the other. And y'all kill her in return, huh? They say you reap what you sow. Psalms 91 says, only with thine eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked. So, hmm, we're going to see. You need to watch who you have around you. Oh, here's another thing. Going to these foreign countries, their laws are different. You can't go down there cutting up in these foreign countries with a different set of laws like you do here. Ask Brittany Griner. She might not be a multimillionaire, but she played ball in Russia and here uh, to the tune of like 750000 a year. I'm pretty sure she had at least a million saved up and has way more than a million in net worth. And you see in Russia, it didn't matter. And um, <clears throat> one thing you'll find about Russians, if you go and look in there at, at pictures of their photo archives, they have pictures of the characters in the Bible, according to how the Bible says they look. For example, Yeshua the Christ is described as having dark skin and woolly hair. Shucks, in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon says, I am black twice. Moses was turned white from leprosy. In other words, he wasn't white to begin with. So the Russian people know this and they have visual evidence to show it right so they know who God's people are they know who the actual Hebrews of the Bible are they know this and they don't try to hide it as a matter of fact they embrace it so you can't I don't I don't I don't if you they're arming Africans now to help them liberate themselves from their colonizers such as France and Great Britain I've met some Russian people in public and they were overly friendly. What I'm trying to say is I don't think those people are racist. Not as a whole. Now, the Ukraine has all types of Nazi symbolism everywhere. And I think my channel's been getting strikes or getting some uh, uh, people 
uh, turning me in for different things. So I don't know. <laughs> this may be the last time you hear my channel, but I don't think you can blame Brittany Griner's situation on racism. I think you just need to be careful in these other countries. And once these folks are done dealing with these Mexican authorities, I think it's going to reinforce that notion. Watch who you have around you. When people show you who they are, believe them. And understand a man is capable of anything that he can think of. So if you can tell somebody has some evil thoughts towards you. You better start watching that person. Uh, there's another YouTuber with a much bigger channel than mine named Hassan Campbell. You can say what you want about the guy, but he has this saying. And uh, you'll see me use it as a tagline sometime. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. And I tell you, he's right. Just look at this situation. So sad. One person lost their life and six others threw theirs away. There aren't that many places you can go, ladies and gentlemen. I guess they could try to get out of the country, but if they are the type of people who videotape what they do and send it to everybody, they're probably very traceable. The authorities probably know where they are right now. They're just going to bring that first girl in to let her tell, and she's probably got some more video evidence that she's going to show. Y'all are through. It's over with. You might as well turn yourself in because I think the first person who makes the deal is going to get the best deal and then everybody else is stuck. But I don't think that person is going to get immunity. Then it'll just be a matter of surviving in that Mexican prison. Shucks, even in the American prison, even in prison in America, they may not let that ride. You may get to a cell in America and say, OK, y'all jumped on that girl. You ask, can she fight back? No, nah, she couldn't fight back, but I can. We can. Because, you know, you still have some people in this world like that who hate bullies for whatever reason. And when they see you, it ain't going to be nice. So the clock is ticking. I'm glad this one got brought to light. But I'm also hoping that people can can uh, also gain some insight and just understand. You need to stop all this trying to have folks around you. I was just telling my son the other day, he you, 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 everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't trying to be your friend. Be cordial. Be, you know, uh, don't don't be standoffish for no reason. But everybody's not your friend, you know. And that's a lesson you're supposed to learn growing up. But for some people, it's different. But when you start trying to force friendships, or trying to buy friendships, or trying to, you know, be overly nice to people who don't care about you. For some odd reason, I hope y'all are listening good to this. For some odd reason, the more you try to help certain people, the more they end up hating you. And it's like they'll retaliate on you like you're their worst enemy. I don't know if it's because you make them feel bad or uh, but by treating them nicely. I don't know what's behind that type of psychology. But I know the people I have helped the most have been uh, the people who have turned against me. And then my partners who don't ask for nothing, and I don't ask for them for nothing. And if I did ask them, I know what they would do and vice versa. But those are the strongest bonds that I have. Go figure. You can't buy friendship, though, ladies and gentlemen. And um, people might even view stuff like that as showing off. I don't know. You got some weird people in the world. Watch who's in your circle. Watch who's in your circle. We're going well past the 400 member uh, subscriber mark here on YouTube. Um, I'm starting to wonder if, if I'm getting uh, my, my views are being throttled down on, on TikTok for whatever reason. If you follow me on Instagram, it ain't that many just yet. I'm still building the Instagram, but I'm going to start putting different reels on Instagram and different reels on Facebook. So the content will be slightly different in case there's people who are looking like, OK, this is all overlapping. So you'll see different material and different content across platforms if you choose to view it and i appreciate all those who subscribe i appreciate all of those who follow on the other platforms um i love my students this is why i do this and anyone else who uh can use the information though i'm glad it's helping someone 
that's what's in my soul. That's my purpose for being here. That's what I do. So uh, like the video, dislike the video, make whatever comments you feel like you need to make. Please be respectful about it. Subscriptions are always welcome and appreciated. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.